Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of the Angler Call of the Wild. And we are checking out some of the new species that have been made available. I have managed to complete some of these. I did do a recording of one with the Tiger Muskie, but unfortunately it did not come out. Dang on it. it. keeps happening every now and then. But we have some missions here that we can take part in, some of which we can catch some new species of fish that have not been seen. The only thing is they are photo challenges which are a little more tough to find. One of which is a bronze rank sturgeon and I'm gonna ha I assume that it means it's somewhere near Diamond's Peak so we gotta find this location or Another one that would be really a lot of fun would be the bronze rank tank tiger muskie since I lost the one. And I think there's one for a burbot. Yeah, gold rank burbot. So I'm trying to decide. Gold rank burbot's going to be a big fish. Bronze rank sturgeon, that's going to be at night, so it's going to be hard to see. But the bronze rank tiger muskie might be a little bit easier to find. So for now, let's go ahead and see if we can't track that. And it's at Ruby River Range somewhere. And we can fast travel to Ruby River Range. I think, let's see, where is Ruby River? Is it over here? Yeah, it is over here. We'll fast travel over to that location. Now I knew there were tiger muskies over here because I caught them when I was trying to get something else. There's a lot of little missions and a lot of them are just bronze, you know, of the of regular species that have already been here. But I've got to find something that it's like two blue barrels. That's going to be my the thing I'm looking for, and it's at a dock. Let me see here. And this, if I find it, this might help you guys out when you're trying to find it yourself. But let me go ahead and look around and I will bring you back once I find it, if I can find it. Alright guys, I am back. I think I found it. Because this looks a lot like the things I was looking at in the picture for the Tiger Muskie. There was that round thing there. Yep, there it is. I found it. Now we gotta catch it. So I gotta catch it somewhere within this vicinity. I already know that they go for. Um, oh wow. Looks like somebody's already here. I already know that they go for minnows. So that might not be. Might be the best thing to fish for. There's already somebody there probably doing the same mission I am doing. But I don't want to get in his way. Gosh, there's two people. There's something over here. An object. Bicentennial half dollar. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not trying to hamper you there, dude. But let me see if I can't get my rod out. I remember about two feet was good. Make sure that I have the same bait on there. 
Alright, I gotta change it. Yep, six. Everything seems to be the same. Hopefully, it won't take us too long to get one. Yeah, I usually look for activity, and I really haven't seen any, so... Uh, looks like I got something, and it's fairly decent sized. It only has to be a bronze rank. hope I'm not up too high in the air to, to catch this thing. That's the only thing that worries me. And we'll soon find out, I guess. <laughs> I got him. Guess not. Northern Pike. Well, <laughs> that's close. At least I got some credits for it. Let's try a little closer to the bank here. Ooh, I can see a fish going right forward. Look at it. That could be our little guy there. Ah, damn. Snap my line. Shoot, I must have oh I had the tension up too high. Dang on it. Z Yeah, I didn't realize I had the tension up too high. I forgot I had, had turned it up a little bit too much. I also don't like the fact that I'm so high up, but these other guys are down there and I don't want to interrupt them. Just need to get a bronze one. See, the only thing is, I'm so high up. I think that's my problem. Got him. There he is. That didn't take too long. Another good spot to fish. And we've completed that photo challenge. Another 50 credits. Let's take a look here at our journal again. See if we can't find something else new that we can go after. Let's see, we've got we've gotten large mouth. Kind of thinking that maybe it's, I'm either going to go for the bronze ring sturgeon or the gold rank burbot. Because these objects, I mean, I can find that peak. That shouldn't be too hard to find. And then this bridge and these two barrels should be fairly easy to find. Well, let's go to Diamond's Peak and see what happens. Now, just because it may not actually be at the Diamond Peak location. Okay, that's Ruby River. Where is Diamond Peak? Oh, pff, right there, of course. So we need to look for the two barrels. Wait a minute. There's so many docks along here, it could be literally at any number of, of them. We also want to look for that P. 
peak. I think it might be across the lake, but I'm not 100% certain. Okay, this is not it, is it? It's not it, is it? similar, but the barrels are a little bit different. Alright, I'm going to take a, another look at them here, guys. Let me see here. Journal, Diamond's Peak. Okay, there's, there's like a little flame and there's the peak. I need to find that bridge. That's what I'm looking for. A bridge. Where would the bridge be? Well, let's take a look at the map here. We need to find some place that crosses. Okay, there's a place here. There's a place here. And here. And here. So it literally could be anywhere within this vicinity. Let's head over here because there is a crossing over here, but I don't think it's got the tre uh, trellis or whatever you call it. Yeah, it's just a regular road. It's not it. So that's not it. That's probably not it. Let's travel here. I have could be on over here by this lumber mill. Guys, I tell you what, I cannot find that darn spot. I have looked and looked and looked and looked. But since I can't seem to find that darn thing, I am going to show you where the walleye can be found. There is a really good spot over here for them, and it's also a great spot for tiger muskie. And you can go here by boat, or you can fish off of here if you so desire. But either way, I would go right into the middle of this bridge at least get yourself a float rod put it to about two feet I've got like a six hook on there and a minnow and just toss it on out Usually doesn't take too long either. Look, check it out. That fast. Largemouth bass. Let's see if we can't get something else here. Once you hit the F, you can see, and then I'll lower your rod. That way you can watch the fish swim up to it. One thing that's nice about doing it from up here is you can see the fish real easily. I think we got another largemouth pass. Yep, bronze one. Let me try from the other side. Maybe we'll have a little more luck with the walleye on this side. You won't. Oh! <laughs> Last time I didn't fall off. Let's 
go a little bit deeper this time. Might have a little more luck. Might be fishing a little too shallow. Yeah, I didn't fall off the other side. I don't know why I did it there. But you gotta be real careful. There is a fish there. I can see him. Ooh, he's bigger. There you go, Northern Pike. Yeah, this is a great spot for these fish here, guys. I'm hoping I get a walleye, though. I'd like to see one. Of course, I was in a boat when I caught the walleye. I don't know if that makes a difference, but... Mm, that's another bass. Yeah, we're getting bass here. All right, let's let's do this. Put our rod away. We'll go down and get a boat. See if we can't secure something a little bit closer to what we're after. We caught lots of bass. We've caught lots of the northern pike already. I want to see something a little different. I'd like to catch a really good size walleye if possible. Take out the special. I don't know what's special about it, but that's what it's called. Now we're going to moor this thing right underneath the bridge. Let's see if we can't do something a little bit better this time. Now we're not going to be able to see them as easily here, but they still bite pretty good. As you can see, okay, this is a bigger fish. Definitely a pike of some kind. There we go. Now that's what we're talking about, guys. There's a tiger muskie. Nice one. Let's take a look at him. That's what we're talking about right there. That's what we're after. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. She definitely has a much better smile on her face. But you gotta really get under the dock, or not the dock, but the, the bridge to really get them. Well, let's do that again. Absolutely no idea what we it would take to get a burbot. 
or even where they're going to be found. Except that they are somewhere in Diamond's Peak. We got him. Silver largemouth. They definitely bite right here. This is a really good spot. This would be an awesome spot to grind, guys. Guys, since it's getting so dark, let's take a look and see what the bird would go for. We've Let's see, where are the burbot on here? Here they are. So they like liver, shad, and red worm, huh? Well, we have red worms. Be worth a try. Of course, there's a lot of other things that go for red worms, so I don't know. Definitely wanted to go deep. We don't have any bottom rods, so okay, we're gonna bite. See we got here, channel catfish. No burbot. Not even sure if they'd be found here. Yeah, cause your guess is as good as mine where they'd be located. Here we go. Another decent sized fish. Now it looks like there's a lot of channel catfish here, but no bird. Yeah, I'm not sure where we're gonna have to find them, but I'm not getting them here. Hmm. Well, we did get our tiger muskie and we did have a lot of fun, but this is a great grinding place for a lot of different species. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of The Angler, Call of the Wild. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.